I may have uh, stopped packing and started like saying, hey, you know, I want to do this thing. And because one of those things I wanted to do was in a, in a box that I had to dig through, I just started pulling stuff out and I didn't put it back. I'm really horrible at packing. <laughs> Um, yeah, but no, seriously, I have this corner emptied out, this corner emptied out. Um, still waiting for the weekend to get rid of my donation corner. I just remembered that I have a bunch of stuff in that, and I need to take it out. I want to keep that stuff. Okay, so I'm going to be watching Julian paint his nails in the background while I do all this, and I also have an idea. I'm gonna be taking these down today so that I can maybe put them in that picture frame. I really do like the picture, so I'm probably gonna keep it. And yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start emptying my my drawers again and putting everything back in boxes and not get them out this time. I hope. I don't know. It's just like you get ideas and you're like, hey, I really need to do this right now, and you do them, and you know, you just make a mess of things. It it happens. All right, I'm gonna speed run it. Oh my goodness, it's all my school stuff. Oh, it's my Quran. Oh my God. This is like from my interior design stuff. Bro, talk about a trip down memory lane. <laughs> my first scrapbook that I am never gonna show anyone ever. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I painted this for my junior year. I'm not gonna show anyone that either. Anything that's art related, I will never show. My old jewelry making set from high school. I took a jewelry making class in high school. Bruh. Summer, I found the ultimate throwback. <laughs> Bitch, oh my God. Uh, the CD's not in here. I have to have it somewhere. Summer, when you come home from Hayes, I got a playlist for you. Thinking that this is like something from when I was like 10. I don't know what this is. I don't I don't know what I was doing. Freaking crackhead back there. I got a lot of freaking paper. Jeez. I need to do more projects. Oh yes. My box of secrets that I will never show anyone ever as well. I'll go with this box over here. Ah! Man, I feel old. This is hurting my back. My neck. My back. My anxiety attack. I don't know if I want to keep this chair or not, because if I do, I really want to make it a different color. I don't have anything against pink, but it's just. I just came upon my freaking time capsule. I got letters. I got another scrapbook. Oh my god. I literally have... I'm not even joking about this. Every single drawing book that I've ever had. Each one of these pages is filled with something. I need to set them on fire as soon as possible. No one can ever see this thing I call art. It's not like I drew anything bad. It's just like art is a process just like everything else. And usually when you start a process, you suck at it. So I sucked at it. I think I'm gonna keep this over here for the time being and just like hold my laptop and stuff. But it is coming with me to the farm. I kinda had a weird, weird thought last night. Like, I didn't really stop to think about all the memories that I've made in this room up until now, and of course it's when I'm leaving. And now it's just hitting me really hard. I'm gonna have to cut all this tape off. It's gonna take me so much time. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I've said it a million times, and I'll, like, I'll say it a million times more. Change is inevitable, but I don't like it. Like, I am excited to like, you know, move and have new life experiences and all that, but I'm never gonna get to come back to this room in the state that it's in right now. 
and that's where it's just like I'm literally saying goodbye to 23 years of who I am who I was you know it's like yeah I get it it's a room it's a house it's not that deep but I don't know it's kind of like I've tried to take a new look on life and it's just like you know every moment is unique and when you start to look at things that way, it, it kind of changes, you know, your whole mindset. Kind of makes you like say, hey, you know, I may not be that other person, but I am still living a life that is completely my own. And yeah, there's some moments that are absolute shit, <laughs> but you know, it gets better. It just takes time. It's like you're not gonna be stuck forever and there was a point in time where I kind of looked at myself and I was like I'm literally gonna be stuck in this room forever like I thought I was gonna die in this room and you know that's not happening but I think that's kind of what my anxiety has done to me it's just like you know you think one negative thing and that becomes your entire future so that's something to overcome every day and it's okay. It's hard, but with time, everything gets easier. Uh, I have not seen my doors without something on them for, I don't know, I got this room when I was eight. I'm 23 now, so like 13 years. All of this is just so surreal. Like I never thought that I was actually gonna be moving. I don't know why, it's just something I never thought of. I was like, Never gonna move, never gonna happen. I'm, this is, this is where I am. This is where I be. I think I'm gonna take that apart and 2022, I need to learn how to angle my camera. I'm gonna take that out, put some pictures in and just kind of like, you know, vibe to some music or whatever. Maybe I can give you an update before I go to work, but if not, I'll try and show you the progress tonight when I get home. See you later. I'm having so much fun just for uh, everyone who's wondering what it's like to be working in healthcare like right now I give you this Tommy boy meme so this is what I am doing right now I am almost done for those of you who are wondering why I just don't stick it to that board because I don't know maybe one day I want to keep the pictures and not the frame so I'm trying to save myself some future grief um, unfortunately not all of them fit in there so I have a bunch that I'm kind of making right now. The rest of them are gonna be put away. And maybe one day I'll have a bigger frame that I can move these into. Maybe I can make some more, I don't know. But um, I don't even know how it looks, to be honest with you, because I I completely forgot which ones I kept and which ones I uh, put in the box. And I have a new pimple growing in. I'm just having an amazing time with life right now. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna get it done and show you the final product, I guess. I don't know, do you guys like it when I show you the process of doing stuff? Cause I, I don't know, I'm tired, I wanna show you the process, but then I'm just like, might be boring. So I don't know, just, you know, let me, let me know down in the comments and future me will take care of it. Y'all do not understand the dedication and care that went into this thing, okay? This is what it looks like right now. Okay, this is the back of it. Do you see how many layers of this I have in here? And it's like literally to make it like as meaningful as possible. Like each image, like my favorite thing about that image and like what I want to show on this board. I started this when I got home at 1130. It's 1249. I literally had to like shut off all the lights, get out my flashlight, put it under the glass just to like see and match everything up. That's why it took so long and my back hurts from bending over for so long. I know I said I wasn't going to be as dry and boring this year, but I'm tired so bear with me first of all. A lot of care. And dedication went into this <laughs> and I just want the effort to be admired 
because if it turns out cringy, I'm gonna have to shoot myself. I'm just gonna be disappointed. <laughs> kind of like, you know how when you're a kid and you make like some macaroni yarn, like you go to show your parents and it's just, instead of them being like, oh, hey, great job. It's just like kind of gets eaten by the dog instead. That's how I feel about it. Okay, so grand reveal because I am freaking dying to get out of these scrubs. I'm gonna put the back on. Okay, I didn't realize how stressful that this was gonna be. Literally, if anything moves an inch, it's going to be ruined. Is this perfectionism? Because that would explain it. It's like there should be no reason why I'm so like about this. All right, here we go. Oh, don't fall apart, please. Oh my god. It fell apart. God damn it. I did it. <laughs> um, I had to go get some like spray on glue for this to happen. And things still moved and shifted and it still does not look like it's supposed to, but there it is. Like it just has like a bunch of quotes or images or aesthetics that I liked on it. Tried to make it kind of like hidden like that when they're succeed. That's supposed to say care. Um, but you know, things just keep moving. Yeah, that was supposed to be keep calm. You got this, but you know, you, you get the picture, like you get the message. So yeah, why is this so zoomed in? What happened? There we go. I hope I didn't ruin the shot with that but um this took half my day it's 1 15. i go to work at 2 30 and i stayed up until 2 a.m trying to fix this before i decided yeah this isn't gonna be done without some glue so i just went to bed <laughs> um i'm gonna pack some more stuff tonight i've actually started emptying out my closet so but i have a wonderful feature in my room now i call it torre pedente desquetole leaning tower of boxes <laughs> um but yeah I have started moving more stuff, started putting more things in boxes. I got this ready to go. This Saturday, I'm donating everything in that corner. So that entire corner is empty. This entire corner is empty except for the boxes and my suitcase and heater and tripod. But progress is progress. So I count this day as an absolute win. So yeah, it's happening. This this room will be void of what was once me. Really, really weird. <laughs> Welcome back to your daily program of, I'm horrible at shooting multiple videos at the same time. And uh, I have to move out this weekend. It's Wednesday and I have to be out by Saturday. I mean, if you see by the condition that it's in, I'm a, uh, I'm still, I'm still not ready to move, so. Um, so yeah, I have to clean everything up again. I have to put everything back inside its box. Then I have to finish packing everything else. I make good decisions. Yo! Oh my God, it's all my yearbooks. I just found all of my high school and middle school yearbooks. All right, come here, come take a look at these. Walk down memory lane with me, bro. Oh my gosh. This is my sixth grade yearbook. We drew pictures of ourselves. That's me. I mean, say what you want about me, but I got a strong ass jawline. I have never been a picture taker, but just to give you a glimpse of who I was almost 12 years ago. I wasn't banned, where the heck am I? Yep, there I am. I'm gonna have to blur everyone's face in here. Yep, I was an ugly, ugly little child. It's okay though. I didn't get better. <laughs> I think I kind of looked the same. Huberty looked at me and said, <laughs> no glow up for you, sorry, but you're gonna remain sad and ugly for the rest of your life. <laughs> oh no, oh no, it's my freshman yearbook. You know what, it's fine, it's fine. Oh my dear God. The hair. The hair is magnificent. I don't care what anyone says. No freaking way! Oh my god. 
Yo. I still got Yu Yu cards, bro. Oh, I collected these things like they were candy back in the day. Oh, what else do I have in here? <laughs> you didn't think I was annoying before. This is gonna make me doubly annoying. Then I got a little fuzzball. I don't know what he's for, but I'm keeping him. Thank you, good night. Let it be known that I have labeled my boxes things like stuff from desk, and then I don't put stuff from desk in the box that says stuff with desk. I just fill it with whatever. As long as it gets put in a box, I think it's fine because the box is gonna come with me and there's no chance of me gonna lose like, you know, everything. And even if I do, I hope it's nothing important. So it's time for me to get ready to go to work. I gotta change out of my comfort and change into my scrubs. Um, the idea is like, I use that every day. Like everything that is left out, I use it every day. Things like clothes in the closet and stuff like that. I'm going to leave them all on the hangers, get a box that size and just put them all in there because the drawers and stuff are all empty. It's just that needs to be put away. I'm gonna carry Namar with me. And then yeah, everything else is just gonna be put in a box except for Sheba, she's gonna be in the car. All right, you won't wanna be in a box, would you? That'd be a little uncomfortable, wouldn't it? Um, I will see you later. Again, I'm probably gonna record tonight because I am gonna be putting the rest of like, I don't know, I just need to organize things again because it's very disorganized and I cannot function like this. So I'll see you tonight, bye. So it is that time again where I barely have things packed. It is still a work in progress but it is past my bedtime i do not know why i convince myself that i can get an hour's work of packing into 30 minutes i set alarms for myself to go to bed at 1 30 and that just never happens i'm smart like that or i'm just tired and desperate who knows at this point but yeah, no, I'm really just gonna like take all of this off and go to bed. So I will see you Friday or Saturday, one of those days, but I'm just gonna get everything out of here. So 